I'm Denise. I'm going to show you how to use the My List. It's a new feature and it's had some recent updates, in fact, updates today. So the first thing we're going to do is click that Add New button and I'm going to give my list a title. So List August 23rd, that's what I'm going to call it. In fact, I'm going to call it Test List. And now what I do to fill my list is I go around the site deciding what I want in my lesson. If I want a song, I go to the song list and I search out the song that I want. I want to use the first song in grade one, Doobie Doobie Doo, because it's such a good warm up. And it's fun. There's really good actions, but I'm going to use the lyrics and I'll teach the kids the movements. So I go add to my list add it to my list. I can add some notes, do lyrics, and I can add it. Done. Now I'm going to see what else I would like to add. I might like to add a game. So if I go to my games list, let's play um, beat or no beat. That's a good game for the beginning of the school year. I'm going to add it to my list choose the list that I want and type in some notes. And <clears throat> then I can go to listening kits because I know I have in listening one, I have what keeps a beat. So we'll stay on the same theme. We're going to keep a beat with Doobie Doo and then we're going to practice and we're going to talk about it. So I'll add it to my list. And I'll add listen one, what keeps a beat. And let's see, do I want some instruments with this little grade one class? Maybe I want some unpitched instruments. Um, I don't want holiday stuff. I want instrument kit stuff. Let everyone play sticks like me. That sounds like a good song to start the year. So I'm going to go to the video and I'm going to add it to my list. And I could keep going through the site and deciding what I want, but I think I've got enough. Maybe I'll put one rhythm practice in. So I'm going to choose the, the level that I want and I'd like one of these lovely read, clap, and play videos. They're, they're just beautiful and they're animated, easy for the kids to do. So I'll add that to my list and call it rhythm. Play along, oops, ta, tp. And now let's close out and see what we've got in our list. So I go back to my list. Here's our test. Here's dooby dooby doo. -bee -doo, -bee -doo. Beat, no beat game, what keeps a beat, let everyone play like me, and we've got a play along. If I want to add an external link, I click here, add procedure. And then I'm going to pull up a new tab and I'm going to go to YouTube. And I noticed that our friend Christian has a new body percussion video. So I'm going to copy the URL of that. Música a través del cuerpo. This one's in Spanish, so that'll be kind of fun. Uh, he's done his videos in English for us on our website. So I'm going back to my test list and I'm going to call this Christian Body Percussion. And I'm going to put in brackets Spanish so that I'm not surprised when I can get to it. Copy my link. body percussion. I can add teaching notes if I want and I can add it to my activity. So now I have my lesson built. I can edit it if I like. If I decide I want to have Christian's body percussion before the rhythm play along, I just click this arrow and it will go up. If I want, I didn't notice this before, if I want to add it, edit the text of an activity, I can add it the text. New, new for me too. If I decide, okay, I don't want to hand out the instruments to the kids, I'm going to take this activity out, I trash it. So I can create my lists from scratch. 
I can edit them, I can move them around. New to the site is the ability to trash the list completely. So I go into my list, I decide I don't like that lesson, I'm going to delete it. Are you sure? Yes, it's gone. So I built a list from scratch, I moved things around, and now I deleted it. Now I'm going to show you what we can do with the learning modules. So I'm going to go into, I was grade one before, let's look at the first lesson for grade five. And I'm gonna go way down here to, um, let's go to back to school lesson four. And I am going to copy that entire lesson to my list. So let's see what we have in this lesson. <clears throat> we have supporting resources for Star Spangled Banner and Lift Every Voice. We're gonna echo body percussion. We're gonna create our own body percussion with some fun music. <coughs> I think grade fives will like that. We're going to learn about the Star Spangled Banner. That's a brand new interactive. It's been rebuilt and it um, click to drag. So it works on your smart boards now. It's lovely. Uh, here is a worksheet that you can give your students. You can listen to a Beyonce performance. You can listen to the Kirk Franklin arrangement of Lift, Lift Every Voice and Sing and then compare the two. So it's, it's a lovely lesson. I don't think I want to change anything particularly. Maybe I'll get rid of that. Let's see, this is my copy. So now I am going to edit it. Let's see, copy to my list. And now it's my copy. So first thing I'm gonna do is edit the title and I'm going to call this grade five back to school. And for me, this is going to be lesson one because I'm just going back to school now. So it's my first back to school. And I said I liked everything in that lesson, except I wanted to get rid of this thing because it references the old site. So scratch that. And now I have Denise's module and I've made it my own. And of course I can change that. I can change performances if I want. Um, if I want to use a different performance than Kirk Franklin's performance, I could add a procedure. And I could go to YouTube and let's search Kirk Franklin. Oops. Every voice. I really do love this performance. It's really good. Oh, here's one with the words in it. I'm going to add that one instead. One let's misconception. Copy it. Kirk Franklin. Every voice. Here's the URL. Oh, I don't need to type this twice. Add my procedure. And now I have that in my lesson <clears throat> as a link. And if I want to move it up and replace my other one, I can. So I'm going to take the new one with the words in and trash the other. And now I have that in my lesson. So the My List tool is powerful. You can take any of the learning modules for pre-K through middle school or any of the extra learning modules that we have with um, in the general. There's such fun modules with movement song, movement fun favorites. You could copy this one to your list. And now that it's copied, I can add any of my personal favorites from the website, any of my personal favorites from YouTube, and I've got this fabulous list of movement songs. I'm gonna edit my title, and I'm just going to call it Movement Fun Favorites. Um, one of the best reasons for doing this and putting it into my list is simply now it's accessible. Anytime I want it, it's right there. I don't have to click here and then general and then find it. So the new My List tool, it's wonderful. I really have to congratulate our builders on a fabulous job of doing this. Next is going to come the ability to put things into folders and categories. But again, if you have some things in there that you want to get rid of, now you just open it 
delete it, and you're all set to go. A question came up last night, how do I link to a PDF on the site? And you would do that with your My List and using the Add Link feature. So if I go to My List, go to my Grade 5 Back to School lesson, go down to the bottom, and I'm going to add a procedure. And this is where I want to add a link. So I'm going to add a new window. I'll add a tab. And what I want to add is the PDF from the back to school unit on the music rules. So here's the back to school unit. And I want to add a, a link to this music rules poster. So it's easy for me to teach and I want it part of my lesson. So copy the URL go into my back to school lesson, paste it in here, call it music rules poster and add it. And I'm going to go back and I'm gonna add one more thing. I'm gonna to go to back to school unit and here's my projectable slides with um, the, oh, that's the wrong one. The projectable slides for the music rules is what I want. Here's the projectable slides. And this shows the body percussion for that particular lesson. Make good choices. We stomp, 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 stomp. Always be responsible. We pat. Use good manners. We clap. Be nice and be kind. We snap. And this can be transferred actually to bucket drums. So I want this as part of my back to school lesson as well. So copy the URL and go down to the end and I'm going to add a procedure for that and I'm going to call it body percussion music rules. Here's my URL. Body percussion music rules and I'm going to add it. And now these are both added into my lesson. And again, if I want to move them to a different place in the lesson. I use the arrow keys to move them up or to move them down. So that is how you can link to other things on the website, not just a game or a song or a video. You can actually get, link to PDFs on the website.